Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video I am teaching you how to build a Home Depot. All codes that I'm using today will be found in the video's description and I also want to give a huge shout out to April for helping me make today's video's design. I seriously am so thankful for April today helping me with the Home Depot design because I struggle with fonts a lot. I also just don't really have time to make designs. So the fact that my friend April has been willing to help me out with a lot of these ideas that I have and help me progress and work towards having every design that I need for my realistic city build truly just means a lot to me. I haven't had any time to really work on this build because I need a lot of designs for it. I also just don't really know what my plan is yet so I thought doing some side tutorials until I decide if I'm ready to commit to this or not would be best and I'm just really excited to recreate more realistic places for the channel in general. Um, I also want to add that the roads that I'm using today are by Colin Crossing and Colin has since then deleted these designs. I'm pretty sure Colin is going to be making some new roads eventually so I apologize I won't have this code listed in the video's description being that it is removed so I just wanted to put that out there too. The main building base items I'm using today are simple panels, wide display shelf, and Nordic bookshelf. So that is the main materials you're gonna need for this build. I still like to use bookshelves here and there, and I wanna add that bookshelves are still an excellent item for city core. So if you don't have access to wide display shelf, you can absolutely substitute in for those. So I also want to add in this video, there's going to be several transitions through the build process. I do this pretty frequently on all of my videos, mostly because my videos take hours to do. And the decorating process for me also takes super long because I think about what items I need to use. So I do want to put that out there. If you are somebody who needs this to be a little bit slower, you can mute the audio and also click the three little dots on the top corner of this video to slow down the video speed as uh, slow as you need it to be. I actually just found this out recently by one of my followers and I'm super excited they shared this information with me. So if you're someone who can't really handle the uh, speed build effect on my videos, you can definitely go with that option or you can tune into my live streams. I don't have a set streaming schedule. I am a mother in real life, so my schedule is like super random. Like I post as time allows. So make sure you have your notifications turned on to never miss a live stream. Also, if you're new to my channel, I appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button. If you want to see more content like this in the future, it really does help me out. Another fun fact about me, if you're new here, I wing all of my builds, and I know that's not realistic for everybody, so that's why I started my YouTube channel. I've been doing City Core since the game has released, and I do other themes too, like Naturals as well, but I try to focus heavily on City Core because I just really love building and manipulating items in the way that they're not supposed to be used for. I also want to add, if you don't have space for any of the interactive parts, you can totally skip that. You can just do the main builds decor out in front, and you can do the main exterior and totally be done with it that way. But a lot of my followers have been asking for some more interactive builds, so today we are doing it interactive. If I recreate this back onto my island, which I plan to do, this is definitely going to be on my realistic town. I'm probably not going to have any interactive builds except maybe one store, mostly because space is super limited on you know our islands and I want to try to fit all the ideas that I have into the actual island itself. I'm also tempted to start a Sims 4 inspired island meeting uh, super modern and chic styled so very very modern looking and I think this would be such a fun build to do along with the realistic stores that we have been doing on the channel so kind of tempted on doing that while I try to progress my tropical city more. I just thought that would be such a fun theme to do. And I have tried to do that in the past, but never committed to it. But the fact that we have so many new items now that will work really great for this theme, with being said, like, you know, the wide display shelf is super great for modern exterior like builds. It honestly gives me hope that I can actually commit to this. So I'll probably be testing this theme out again uh, in the next few days. So if all goes well, I'll definitely be sharing that on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're curious on what I mean by that, just go to my video tutorials and you'll see a th uh, Sims 3 styled build that I called it a long time ago that I posted. And it would be something like in that effect. So as I travel it, if I end up absolutely loving it, knowing me, I'll get distracted and probably grind that island out in like three days because if you're a regular follower, you know I do that. It is 
uh, something that just happens to me randomly. Sometimes I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm kind of inspired right now to try this and then I'll do an island super quickly. That's what happened to my recent castle island that we just did. One of my followers was like, you should try a castle theme. And I was like, oh, that's not usually my style. I don't think I'll like it. And then I ended up loving it. Finished that island in three days and here we are. I actually have been progressing to uh, behind scenes on the tropical island. I think I have like one fourth, I wanna say, of that island finally done. It's not completely finished yet, but I am making progress on it. So I have not deleted or changed anything. I wanna put that out there. I did not delete anything. You'll be proud of me as if you've been a follower for a while, you know I've restarted that tropical theme a bajillion times because I'm super picky. And yeah, I think I finally found a layout that I really, really love. So I'll be sharing more of my island progress with you later this week. I also want to add that you can totally decorate this interior the way you decide to. You can definitely put your own twist to it. I wasn't really sure how to decorate the interior, so I tried my best. And I actually had help from Steven. If you don't know who Steven is, that is my husband. He used to go to Home Depot all the time as a kid uh, because his dad was a woodworker. So he actually guided me on how to decorate this. And that's also why there's a ton of transitions in this video because I was like, I don't know what to put here. Like, like, I don't go to Home Depot hardly ever. And he's like, okay, he's like, I'm gonna help you decorate today. So everybody give a huge uh, clap and comment below for Steven for actually contributing to an Animal Crossing video. Uh, many of y'all know he does not play Animal Crossing. Like he just wants nothing to do with it. And the whole entire interior of this build was literally by him. So I am proud of him and super thankful for his help today with that. I think my favorite part about today's video is actually the painting area inside the Home Depot store. I just love paint and I'm very artistic in real life so I had a lot of fun making that and I loved having those tiles that look like paint has spilt on the ground. I just love that little detail. I actually found that code in Criteria Search but I did actually screenshot the MA code so you don't have to go dig for it. So I'll have it in the video's description. But it's one of my favorite tile codes. I just love that it does look like paint has been spilt on the ground. So that is one of my favorite details of today's video. If you don't have space for that, you can totally skip it. But I just wanted to have that extra detail right here. Also, if you don't know what some of the items that I use today are called, I've left you a very handy item list below in the video's description, and it has every single item that 2.0 gave us with the uh, actual names of the items too. Uh, I wanted to put that information out there in case also I may have missed some items if you wanted to add those to today's video too. And then now we're just gonna make a little shopping cart and then I'm also gonna be adding that extra detail of that one person who didn't put the cart away correctly near here. My husband was like, you need to do that. There's always that one lazy person who doesn't put the cart back where it's supposed to be. So here we go, we're putting that lonely cart right there. And I've been doing that uh, on almost all of my store builds lately. I just love doing that because I'm, I'm that lazy person who doesn't bring the cart back. I always just like neglect it there. Uh, so that, that detail is for me. Anyways, here is the completed build. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. I had a lot of fun making this. And again, you can totally make some size dimension uh, changes to this as needed. I don't plan my build, so I don't know exactly how big this is, but I always tell my followers to count by bookshelf or display shelf, which is two squares. Hopefully that information helps you out. And I hope that this brings you a ton of inspiration for your own island. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And with that being said, have a horrible day. See you next video.